Yeah, even though this guy can't seem to finish the jobs he's already got, when I go to talk to him, he's busy taking on more jobs. Hungry for something different? What am I gonna be on? Mark Savage wants me to expose his business, unique food trucks and trailers, because Mark doesn't think he's done anything wrong. So why are people contacting me telling me you're ripping them off? Then? Well, that's not true. But some customers who've hired this guy are saying, WTF, where's the food truck? So you've already given him 16 grand? Yeah, yeah. And he's still got your truck? Yeah. Customers are hungry, and these food truck owners are now starving for cash. So you don't have my money for two years, why do you need more money to complete a job if you don't have my money for so long and you haven't shown me no, no work? And I'm gonna take you on a little undercover road trip to take back a truck before Mark Savage eats up all this guy's profits. Literally, there's two weeks worth of work, and if when you bring it back, I will put it on paper. But I've, t but I've heard that before. I'll put it on paper. I'll put it on paper that no, you'll have it I done just, in two weeks. I just wanna be done. This is Unique Food Trucks and Trailers in Frazier. There are a lot of food vendors' livelihoods on the line here, or should I say, in the lot here. But for some reason, Mark Savage, the owner, is taking on more. Hey there, Mark. Rob Walchick from Fox 2. Can I talk to you? Uh, after I'm done with this customer, sir. I'll show you more of me and Mark chewing the fat in a bit, but first, meet Leron. The only thing he gave me was... A broken heart. Leron has a food trailer called Smoke and Moe's Barbecue, but Leron, a.k.a. Moe, says Mark made him miss all last season. He kept telling me stories, telling me he was going to work on it, he was going to work on it. Moe says he gave Savage $6,800 to equip the truck, and even though this is as far as Mark got on the trailer, Mark wanted more. I didn't give him no more money, so he got upset and he pushed my trailer outside. And you just came and took it? Yeah, I came and took it, yes, sir. And the little bit of work Mo says unique food trucks and trailers did was dangerous. You were supposed to get um, fire resistant paneling. Yes, sir. And what did he put in? He put in fake wood from Home Depot. Mo's not the only one forced to come hijack his own food truck. We'll call him Tom. He says a couple of years ago, Savage was holding his trailer hostage as well. We were supposed to be done by March. This is now like June? And I said, I'm coming to get my truck. Mo didn't get the FRP, fire resistant paneling, he said he paid for. Tom says Unique didn't give him the fireproof fiberglass insulation he wanted. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Oh, it's, it's styrofoam. Yeah, it's styrofoam. styrofoam. That's styrofoam. Then there's Brandon. You got your truck sitting at this guy's place? Yeah, so I dropped it off November of 2021. And Brandon's got a new oven, cooler, and a bunch of equipment he bought on his own there as well. Mark Savage is supposed to install it. I think he just took on way too much. Hmm. So, I, but I, I also think he's a crook. <laughs> Brandon's gonna do what the others did. Go grab his grub truck. My undercover cameraman is there when Brandon tells Mark how he needs his truck and stuff now. I'm gonna miss another season, and this is not. Well, I told you, once that thing's back here. Yeah, weeks. but I can't. I can't trust that you're gonna have it done. Two weeks. Yeah, but you you, you told me that okay. so many okay. times, Mark. Okay. So fine. Mark's workers put in a door on the back of the truck, but it's too small to fit the oven and other stuff Brandon owns through it. So Brandon wants whatever he can get. This is yours. This is yours. His equipment is spread out all over this messy shop. Brandon, do you want, do you want to stop with my guys, please? Brandon gets his truck home. He can't believe how little work was done. And a few days later, he rents a U-Haul to get his oven and larger equipment. Now it's time to feed my need. Yep, Mark, Rob Walchek is on today's menu. Our first course, Brandon. What took his truck so long to get done anyways? Well, it wasn't completed when he took it out. He wanted to get uh. But you had it for like a year and a half though, right? Yeah, I did. Next dish, Tom's trailer. You had it for months and months and months and you were supposed to do a bunch of work on it. And uh, well, he let me finally... take care of these guys. For the second time, Mark puts me off to wait on more potential customers. I freeze and wait a half hour before one of Mark's four employees steps outside. Tell him I'm standing out here, I'm getting cold. Mark finally finds time for me and says he's working as fast as he can. Everybody does get frustrated with, with things that they expect to get done quicker. But I, and, and, I, and, I, and on the same token, again, we, you know, we don't plan on having employee problems. 
and we didn't pro have the problem I'm having with my hip, things like that. So things do happen. But you're taking on new customers, and well, like, you who are every, these every, people? Everybody, 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 everybody ha we got to keep your business going. I mean, we're getting jobs out of here. Like, we got one that's getting ready to leave out of here tomorrow. He claims he doesn't even remember Tom's job. He remembers Laurent, a.k.a. Mo, and says he knew the paneling he installed was not fire-resistant. So you say that Mo knew you were putting... Absolutely. The fake stuff or whatever it is. He called it. He calls it fake FRP. All it is is the same material that's on the ceiling in the RV. We put that on the wall. But it's is it fireproof? No. Mark insists he has tons of satisfied customers and says everything he puts in is safe. Insulation, FRP, and even electrical. Do you know what you're doing with the electrical and all that? Do you do the oh, electrical absolutely. itself? We do all the electro. All and, the electrical, and are all you, the propane. Do you have like permits and are you an no, electrician it's, or it's just, you we hire out? We have a guy that does it here. You have a guy that does it and yeah. he's like certified and he's, you know what he's no, doing? No, but we, we, we've taken classes on it. It's not like uh, we're, you know, we're doing a home or something like that, but we do everything by the code. Hey, Mark, I got my own code and it says you're in the Hall of Shame. Brandon is suing unique food trucks in small claims court. He says Mark still owes him for services he paid for but didn't receive. Both Brandon and Mo have found a different food truck builder. I checked on Brandon's truck and he got more work done in a week than Mark Savage did in more than a year. Mark left me a message saying he would provide me a list of satisfied customers. I called him back and left him a message, but he never provided me with any satisfied customers.